In this video I will cover the simulation command and uh, we are also going to do an exercise. So if you downloaded the files, you'll probably have this on our screen. So we have here a set of wheels, rails, and we'll have to roll those on this rail. So let's start this. First let's create the fixed part. Let's choose one of the rails and now let's also choose the other rail because they are not connected between them. And for this we are going to use the roll curve joint. So let's choose this curve with this curve on the line to another one for the other wheel. Okay, and because we have those two wheels that are not connected between them, we also have to do or revolute joint between this wheel and this wheel and this plane and this plane and because we didn't add constraints first if you remember you need to check here offset and 138 millimeters is the distance between those two click OK now we can see here that we have the joints that we need and we also have five, de five degrees of freedom this is mainly because those parts are not uh, rigid between them so let's make a rigid, a rigid joint between the axis and one of the wheels otherwise the axis is going to remain behind and let's make another rigid joint between those two rails because they are not interconnected by anything click OK so now we have one degree of freedom left, so we need to only add the command, which is going to be each one is going to be only one between those two roll curve joints. And it's length driven. Click OK. Says the mechanism can be simulated. Let's check this here. We see it works, it rolls. And now I would like to show you the simulation command, so we are not going to do the low anymore, you can do this as an exercise, just add a low with uh, 20 millimeters in one second and see how it goes. So in here, on the DMU, generic animation toolbar, we have this button that's called simulation, so this you can use this for all the other videos for all the other exercises to simulate you don't necessarily have to make a low so you either use the low or you use this one so make sure you don't have any lows here when you use this otherwise it's not going to work so here you choose the mechanism that you want to simulate in here it shows the movement so it goes like this you take this to 500 to maximum you leave it like that and after that you press insert so you'll have this activated here let's choose here 0 0.01 we need this and this is a loop button so if we go jump to start and you press play so you see this is going to have a relative speed depending on what we have chosen here so let's make uh, let's see what's the a good speed here so this is a good speed so now if we choose this you see there are two arrows so it's going to go back and forward so it's just going to work like that and if you choose this loop style it's going to do the same movement over and over again so it's not going to do back and forward like this so you have three options if you go back to the first option it's just going to do it once and i recommend you to use this simulation command on the other mechanism just as an exercise so see you in the next video